Hello, I'm Hattie Hassan from Stop Cox Women Plumbers. We are here today. I'm very pleased to welcome Jamie Fisher, the sales director from Monument Tools Limited. And Jamie, thank you for agreeing to talk to me again just before our WIC conference, which, by the way, is happening on the 4th of July in London. If you're a female engineer or any engineer who wants to come, just uh, find a link at the end of this video. So, Jamie, welcome back. Um, let me ask My pleasure. you... The, the question that's burning for everybody, I'm right. sure. Why do you keep coming back? Why do we keep coming back? So um, as a business, we made a conscious decision seven, eight years ago that we would spend far more of our time and effort with the end user of our products. We are, for those who don't know, a fifth generation family run manufacturing business based in the UK. We make about 80% of what we sell here in the UK. We export, but our, our main market is plumbing tools in the UK. We were making products and distributing them through wholesalers, and we weren't close enough to the actual consumer of our product. So we were, by the admittance of our, our chairman, we were great at making things. We weren't necessarily great at the sales and marketing. So the focus had to be on the trade. And as part of that, we wanted to be all encompassing. So um, there was no original specific drive to target female engineers. Um, and I think some of the first conversations that we'd had together were, you know, an introduction to that part of the of the sector that, you know, I guess we probably assumed as a lot of people do would just be caught up and encompassed in um, dealing with colleges and, and general higher education because it's a catch-all mm -hmm. and there has to be an element of not return on investment but when you are paying for people to um, investigate markets is it, it, it's, it's trying to spread your net as wide as you can um, and then when yourself and Micah um, we, we, we finally met and had a conversation it, it just fell into place and fit so I think that was early days of conference we then got involved in headline sponsoring that following year um, and I think we've done it the last three years we've still yeah. got a couple to go it it, it just it, it fits and on a personal level it's a pleasure working with people like yourself and, and Micah who have got a real desire and drive to do positive things in the industry because I think there's a lot of not necessarily negative but there's there's not enough focus on the positive really yeah yeah I think don't we live in a society where complaining is the norm and actually what we should <laughs> be doing is celebrating our successes because we do succeed I mean our event is growing year on year and I think that's testament uh, in a way to to the importance of it the need for it and why um you're not the only sponsor who keeps coming back and it's really fantastic to have that kind of support in fact didn't we um reward you with an accolade not long ago? yes yes you did and we very much appreciate it sat on the uh, reception desk at the, at the factory so um but but it's a great thing to receive and and genuinely was as you know massively chuffed um mm -hmm but but trying not to be overly modest it's not really what we what we do it for the, the 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 thing for us is all we want to do is is make a product that's fit for purpose that 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 suits all parts of the market and you know if if we weren't involved with yourselves we wouldn't have that female voice around the table and we need it because mm. anything that improves either processes or actions or policies or even products you know there's a product yeah. here behind me um that you know we developed it, a, a power tool um version of it to make it easier to use now that was suggested by a a female plumber but it's now easier for everybody to use it and exactly. i think we were having a conversation earlier that it's not aiming at um women shouldn't just be seen as a box ticking exercise the exactly. positive benefits of it is is far beyond that yeah yeah i mean that, i think what we were talking about was the fact that if you um aim everything at um that kind of uh, our sector you're actually encompassing the uh, everybody else whereas yeah. if you aim it at you know just the male market you're missing out on a whole load of things um and it's not the same i mean women are not smaller men we are no, a different no 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 yeah, yeah absolutely future, aren't we <laughs> no yeah no absolutely i think that's missed quite frequently particularly mm -hmm. in in marketing um 
and even product design. You know, I've 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 got a little hammer over here that you would you would laugh at. Um, that I remember, you know, sort of came to the UK 15, 16 years ago from the States. And there was a, a lady, uh, Barbara Kay, I think her name was, was quite a, 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 a famous TV DIY presenter in America at the time. Um, and they came to us in the UK when I was working for a wholesaler to launch a range of tools. And everything was just miniature. You know, it was an eight ounce hammer instead of a 16 ounce hammer. Well, you know, you try driving a four inch now with an eight ounce hammer it's not going to happen but you know um and heaven for fun they painted them pink and light blue as well i think but yeah, um, yeah. it's not the way to do it it's no it's no i mean and and also you know we need to be treated like we're real people we're not just you know barbie dolls so we don't need a barbie doll hammer we need a we need to want something that's going to be fit for purpose but it doesn't have to be excessively you know, fit for purpose for one one sector of society and not fit for yeah. purpose with the other with the other sector. Now, you know, we we're kind of um, fifty two percent of the population. I don't know if you knew that. I didn't um, know that. Yeah, yeah. Um, women are actually outnumbering. So now the men are diverse. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh crumbs! I'm I'm, I'm 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 diverse, and I think the beard puts me another another demographic <laughs> down as well. But yeah, one thing we 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 learn. With, with doing this and we're doing some work with sort of BPEC in some of the, 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 the college work that we do. I've always tried in my career to take the best bits of everything I've picked up from everybody. You know, sales might be the title, but you've got to understand logistics and operations and HR and all the other things. And it, it amazed me watching um, a young lady who was doing a, um, a plumbing competition. She was the only female entrant. But just watching the way she worked, how mm -hmm. organized she was. And um, because of her size, she had to move things around a little bit and operate differently. Mm -hmm. And all the rest of the, 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 the male competitors, apart from one, just blinkered, got on with what they were doing. One lad caught out the corner of his eye what was happening, and you'd saw by the second day, it was a two-day event, the following morning, his stuff was laid out exactly the same as, as hers were. Now, mm -hmm. he wouldn't have learned that yeah. if she hadn't have been there to share what was, you know, the benefit of her experience and, you know, what she'd learned to make things better for herself. Now, yeah. to be quite frank, gender's irrelevant in that example, but... It is, isn't it? That's the thing, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. It absolutely <laughs> is irrelevant. Um, yeah. Uh, but but gender in our industry is not irrelevant. But in that instance, it it was irrelevant, and that's yeah. the way in which I mean, well, I'm always getting asked, why can't we just be called plumbers? Why do you have to say women? And I said, we would love to just say plumbers, but when you know ninety percent of ninety nine percent of the time, if you go into a school and you say to a child draw a plumber they would draw a man yeah. then we need to be we need to differentiate ourselves so that they know that they can also become plumbers and yeah. eventually my dream is that eventually when you go into a classroom of children because they actually are the reflection of society aren't they yeah. they don't have any filters they show it right yeah. back to you and if they if you would if i went into a school one day and i said right draw a plumber and 30, 30% of them or, you know, 20% of them drew a woman. Yeah. I'd be thinking, right, we're at, we're getting towards the point where, um, hold on, something's happening. We're getting towards the point where we can start calling ourselves just plumbers. Yeah, you know, I've, I've got an eight-year-old daughter and um, she is exceptionally practical. You know, I, I'm lucky, I, I grew up on scaffolding when we stepped out as a roofer and, and, and my um, father himself was a you know he just knew DIY it was a generation where you you fixed everything yourself we looked after an aged auntie and um my, my daughter sort of following down the same route and I'd, I'd love to think she'd she'd have a trade because mm. it's one of those things that you've got forever and I don't think we give it enough credibility in this country. We were talking at dinner last night with some industry colleagues that, you know, you go to places like Germany and a heating engineer is considered the same as a doctor or a lawyer because they are a degree qualified level um, individual. You know, they understand business and, and all sorts of other things, whereas it's sort of that long list of careers that, you know, if, if you 
GCSE mocks aren't that great. They're the things they sort of line you up for behind it. And we're going to pay the penalty of that as a, as a yeah. country. We're already we tens already of thousands. Yeah. We already are. We've got a skills gap that's, you know, gaping. Yeah, so huge. we're already paying for it. So um, I'm aware that uh, we are we are using up our time rapidly. So let me just quickly no ask you, yep. what are you looking forward to at the WIC conference this year? Um, as always, it's a catching up with those people that we've seen previously, getting some feedback from some of the items that, you know, maybe some of the competition winners won last year. Um introducing a few um new product designs that, that that we've got and getting some some perspective on those but to be fair it's just there to understand from another what we would refer to as you know focus group you know we just want feedback whether it's good or bad you know whether mm -hmm. someone turns around and says this thing's rubbish this thing's great this is what we could do with that we'll get one snippet of an absolute golden thread. We'll get the start of a golden thread as we would describe it internally. And we never know where that can take us. It's ended up with yeah. brand spanking new products that we've got on display behind me, um, or it might just be a development of something here that we've had in the portfolio since the 1930s. <laughs> and it's, have you thought of doing this? Um, and also we, we you know, we, we encourage anybody who's invented new products to, to sort of come through our inventors den because we are a British manufacturer. We can turn things around relatively quickly. Um, and at some point, I really look forward to launching the first, you know, product designed by a plumber who mm. just happens to be a woman. Yeah, that would be good. That would be cool. <laughs> yeah, so if any of you are watching, get designing. <laughs> All good. Um, Jamie, uh, just before I let you go, um, yes. we... We have this conversation. This is our second time I've had this conversation. We'll probably have one next year as well. Yeah. Um, and they're not exactly the same, I'm happy to say, because we move on, don't we? Absolutely. We, do, yeah. we, we want, we also, one of the purposes of doing this is, is to um, not only aim at en engineers, but also to aim at potential sponsors. So if I, you know, you're a salesman, maybe you can <laughs> sell our event to some other potential sponsors because they will be watching this. If I was anybody in the industry as a manufacturer um for a cost of entry into um a real insight in this part of the consumer sector for your product that the 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 the, the the future of our industry it will be 20 30 percent at some point it has to be our yeah. our industry cannot be taken over by ai there's so much of that at the minute you know some of the photoshop <laughs> stuff i've seen this week scared me to death yeah. um but you can't program a computer to walk into a 1928 two up two down terraced house that's been renovated 60 times in its lifetime and understand you know how the heating system works when it's all underneath floorboards and hidden Absolutely. behind plasterboards so yeah, anything that a you know a, a a supplier of any product and i mean any part of our sector whether it's consumables i could list them all it would be well worth your while you know coming to an event understanding what goes on and seriously considering sponsorship because you know it is our anecdotal return on investment has always been positive you can't always put pan notes on it we don't sell at the event but we're still doing it and we intend to keep doing it um and if people see the demographic that we've got on the brand um and how it's grown then we've got to say it's working Sorry, there's a, somebody waving at me. The postman's waving at me through the window. <laughs> Not a problem. <laughs> Sorry, I'm distracted, everybody. But it's he's, okay. No worries. It's okay. But yeah. He's leaving me a parcel. <laughs> no problem. But yeah, it, 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 it's definitely worth 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 doing. You know, we we are very wise with our um, sort of expenditure. We're not a huge business. Um, but you know, we believe it's the right right thing to do. Um, and I think others would be if they understood it better. It's not just a box ticking exercise. We don't tick boxes for anything. We don't, we're not that size company. We don't, we don't have to. We've got no shareholders we're beholden to, with the exception of the owners. Um, and they support this sort of end user first policy that we've got wholeheartedly. Jamie, that's I couldn't have said it better myself. <laughs> not a problem. <laughs> Um, I can't wait to see you at the event. I can't wait to, um, you know, get that room full of women because last year, 
the, unfortunately you couldn't make it, but oh, it, I was away it, that it week, was, yeah. that, the room was really buzzing. It was packed and everybody had such a fantastic time. And Looking we've, forward got, to it. We've, we've got a film actually that, um, um, another, another supporter made for us, which is, which is available. I think, um, and we can make it available again for anybody. So, um, Jamie, uh, as always, brilliant to talk to you and, um, I will stop the recording and I'll see you on July the 4th. Thank see you, you soon.